July 27th, 1941. Having ruled out the possibility to storm Leningrad with the coup de main, von Lieb's chief of staff concluded that the only option to force its defenders to surrender would have been via a long and time-consuming siege. Since last week, Leningrad has already been cut off from the rest of the Soviet Union. But it seems that the Red Army already had a plan B. German air recon reports indicated indeed that the Red Army has been using an armada of barges, vessels and crafts to apparently keep Leningrad resupplied by just crossing Lake Ladoga. Furthermore, as the advanced patrols of the 3rd Motorized Infantry Division reported that only two battalions were defending the port of Ozinoviets, apparently the only and last vital artery that kept Leningrad supplied over the course of last week. This week, the Germans do not think twice. They attack and severe this vital last artery. And so this week it begins. This week begins the Siege of Leningrad. Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new episode, a new week and a new turn. And as always, we start by having a look at what happens, um, what happened uh, this week um, in, the, in the sector of Army Group North. And um, yes, besides announcing the, that the, um, the 4th Panzer Group finally begun the operations to uh, properly and surely besiege Leningrad, this week, uh, a, also a second siege uh, begins, and this is the, the Siege of Tallinn, uh, operated by the uh, 50th Army Corps of the German uh, 18th Army. Uh, while the uh, remaining Army Corps of the, uh, of the 18th Army kept advancing uh, into, Western, into Eastern Estonia, and even managed to surround one uh, Red Army Rifle Division uh, west of, uh, of Narva. Concerning the, the 4th Panzer Group, I was, um, let's say, quite skeptical about what to do with, the, with, with its units, because sure, okay, now I had like this huge, long, but tiny and thin corridor linking the closest supply base, which I think was Peskov or, or Dno, um, to, to the whole Panzer Group, to the whole Panzer Group, yeah. And I had, sure, I had three infantry divisions which were now spread uh, uh, along the entire um, western uh, flank, or the, the left flank of the, uh, of, uh, let's call it the Panzer Corridor. And I, I didn't know what to do uh, in, in, in this turn, during this week, because I was like, I can even, uh, I can either leave them there doing nothing, or I can start pushing northwards from the south and westwards from the east. And this was again tricky because by rejoining the infantry divisions I would have inevitably exposed some hexes to um, Soviet um, potential Soviet counterattacks from the Leningrad pocket. And also, uh, maybe you noticed it, um, instead of following the shortest railway line between Peskov and Novgorod, I took a long detour um, towards Staraya Rusa and then towards uh, Shimsk and then again uh, my FPD-4 was in position to um, repair the, the stretch of railway towards Novgorod, uh, Chudovo and then uh, I think north near Leningrad. And I thought, yeah, because I was like, if the Soviets uh, launch an, a counter-attack and they severe the railway line uh, passing, I think, through the uh, Nau and um, the the uh, let's say the, the location southwest of Shimsk, I am screwed because then I will I will have to delay the FPD four and to re repair the same railway line access and I was like yeah okay screw it I'm going to elongate the um, the path I'm gonna waste time in uh, doing all this detour but then you know in this way I felt uh, safer and just two words about the 16th Army um, the 16th Army was lucky in uh, not facing a rock-solid defensive line in this horrible um, swampland that is, let's say, uh, the area between Velikiluki and Demyansk, which is a really horrible area to fight into, and I, I was kind of happy and lucky that the Red Army um, decided to 
pull back its forces and not um, hold the ground uh, in that, yeah, pretty nasty and horrible terrain. And with this, I would say I called it a week for Army Group North. And um, as always, folks, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. I wish you all the best. And uh, as always, stay tuned because in the next episode, uh, we will have a look at what's going on uh, in Army Group Center.